Hey guys, what's up? It's Ardek here, Old School Duelist 12, everyone to come, and I'm coming at you with the ban list. The ban list was released today, so I thought, I mean, I've already looked at it, I already know what's been changed and everything else, so I thought we'd take a look at it. Uh, don't worry, webcam's gonna go away, so you guys, you guys, obviously, you can see it's right behind it. So, yeah, let's take a look at it. Now, from what is on here, what's different on here is that we got damage. So obviously, they in included some of the, like, uh, some of the, some of the adjusted list, uh, which was, you know, obviously, damage juggler and plush flyer. Those are now banned. Which, you know, sucks. Um, but I never really played Perform Age, so who, <laughs> so it doesn't affect me whatsoever. Um, also, again, with like the adjusted list, Ptolemaeus. <laughs> that's also banned as well. Uh, but that's not a surprise because people can just go Ptolemaeus, Diamond, boom. Which sucks, but. Uh, yeah, and then also Chicken Game. Now, that's something interesting to me. Chicken Game. <clears throat> Granted, I use Chicken Game in two of my decks, so it's I can see where they're coming from. Chicken Game can be a very deadly card. Uh, basically, it's kind of like an upstart in a way. Only you're losing a thousand, and also it could you know do other things and go and play into other combos, protect damage if you protect the card. So it's definitely something uh, that shocked me it shocked me when I saw that they were like oh let's ban chicken game so that's definitely that's random to me wavering eyes now wavering eyes I'm I, I'm not really shocked shocked that <coughs> that it's banned but I'm definitely um, I kind of saw it coming I mean I if anything I'd have seen wavering eyes going go to one which is definitely definitely something that caught me way off guard um that the fact that they are just like, nope, we're done with it, ban it. So now Wavering Eyes is now banned, so now Pendulum decks don't have that fun search any card they want. They didn't ban any trap cards this year, uh, or this format, so that's interesting. Pendulums definitely were hit a lot. Uh, just like with the, um, with the, uh, with the Justice List, Luster Pendulum the Draco Slayer is now limited. It's officially limited, not Justice List limited. It's li limited. <laughs> Uh, I never really played the card. I mean, I did run Odd Eyes Magician, but I didn't really play uh, Luster Pendulum only because I didn't really have, like, I didn't find a need for it. So I just didn't run it at all. Um, Performa Pal, Monkey Board, and Skull Crobat. Skull Crobat was on the adjusted list for limited, so I'm not surprised that it's limited. Actually, you know, I expected it. Wisdom Eye. That, that is new. I did not see that. Oh my god. I didn't see that the first time I looked at it. So, the, oh my god. Oh, dude, that messes with my Odd Eyes Fusion deck, like, or Odd Eyes Pen Magician deck, like, hardcore, because Wisdom Eye, such a big combo play. So, like, once it hits Grave, I have to get an Oath Dragon on field to just bring it back to hand. Uh, that's, oh my god, I did not see that the first time. Holy crap. Holy oh, crap, man. Anyways, um, I just noticed that, like, uh, anyways, um... But yeah, the monkey board. Uh, I don't remember if that was on the adjusted list. But either way, I'm not surprised because uh, Draco Pals was just too powerful. Noden or Nord Noden Norden is now limited. I that surprised me. That because I mean, granted, not many people ran more than one anyway, so it's really not going to affect the game that much. Um, but I, you know, I'm actually really surprised. Now here's a big, big shock to me. Thousand Eyes Restrict. Thousand Eyes Restrict is now unbanned and it's now limited. Wow, that makes me want to put together a um, a Thousand Eyes Restrict deck because that card is so funny to play. Uh, just for the fact that like Thousand Eyes Restrict, drop that, uh, drop Restrict, take your card. Thousand Eyes Restrict. Now it's the only monster that can attack. Uh, so I mm, I don't think it's gonna mess with the game too much, but. Definitely, definitely a giant surprise to me. Hmm, that's that's gonna be fun to see. I feel like a uh, thousand or a thousand dollars restrict is gonna go up in price for sure, without a doubt. Uh, Ignis, Ignister, 
Pro means the Blaster Draco Slayer. Now, I'm not surprised that this is actually limited because, like I said, Draco Pals. Draco Pals are, were too powerful this format. Um, they hit Performa Pals uh, with Pendulums. They hit... They, they're just, like, really starting to really put the ban hammer on... Uh, on pendulum decks because people because people know how broken pendulum decks are. <coughs> Trust me, I've played three. I've played the three like the three top tier ones. I played uh, Cleave Forts when they were top tier. I played Performer Power when they were top tier, and I played Magicians when they were top tier. Uh, so like they really put the ban hammer on the deck. Um, so that doesn't surprise me that. Anything Draco Pals related, Draco Slayer related, is limited or banned at all. Um, speaking of Draco Pals, Draco Face Off. Like I said, Draco Pals, they are uh, they are just <laughs> why not? Uh, like I didn't really play Draco Pals, so I don't really know how powerful they are. I just know like Draco Pals. I knew what combos to stop. That was my big thing. I knew what combos to stop, uh, but I didn't really know the cards all that well. So I, like I said, I don't really have. Uh, answers and reasons why Draco Pals were hit so bad. Um, but I don't, but Wisdomize, that does like, that blows my mind because you can use the effect as much as you want. Like, literally, you can blow up your Pendulum Zone as much as you want. As long as you have Wisdomize in your hand, you're definitely just gonna just boom, 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 boom. So, Wisdomize being hit to one does not surprise me. Uh, it doesn't necessarily kill the deck, but it definitely does slow down the deck quite a bit. Uh, reasoning. This is something that was a big shock to me, because I own. Because here's a big reason why I find it a giant shock. Clef for or not Clef it's Quantums. They used reasoning quite a bit. Like that was kind of like a big card of the deck because of just the all of them have graveyard effects. Plus that could just get your special summons off a lot faster. So reasoning for Quantums, I definitely see it. I play Quantums. I finished them at regionals recently. So, I definitely see why Reasoning is hit to 1. And another thing, uh, Infernoids, and I think I saw someone play Cosmos with Reasoning in it. Reasoning, I think, is a very powerful card. Only for the fact of, like, it's just name any number. Boom. All that stuff is, yes, the downfall. A bunch of stuff can go in Grave. But the plus is, you could definitely get some stuff on field. So, like, I can't, I really don't see a reason why, I don't see a reason why Reasoning is banned. Or put to 1. Um, Upstart Goblin. This was a shock to me, but at the same time, I shouldn't be surprised. Upstart Goblin, I didn't, like, I think it was, like, two formats ago. They just became, like, it just became such a popular card and just slowly skyrocketed in price. I barely saw people run it, but then slowly people were like, oh, run Upstart, run Upstart. Uh, no new traps were limited. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to reveal anything for what's unlimited, or that's now unlimited. Um, Debris Dragon, put it two. Uh, I don't really see, like, a lot, like, these three things that were put to, uh, semi-limited. Um, only one of them was a shock to me, uh, but Allure and Debris, I feel like that doesn't really change the game at all. <coughs> so, it's nothing really, like, too detrimental now that Debris Dragon's at two, because, I mean, Dragoonies are dead. Dragoonies are s beyond dead. Um, and with, e uh, and, uh, Allure... I don't really see that many dark decks now. So, Alert 2 isn't, like, too crazy. <clears throat> uh, emergency Teleport. Now, that's something that was a shock, but at the same time, not a shock to me. Because e Telly and take Quantums, for, for uh, example. I can e Telly get the Blue out, the Blue Ranger out so fast. Just, boom, Blue Ranger, search stuff out. That was basically a free search for Quantums. Now, Cosmos, I definitely see why e Telly was definitely put to two. Uh, putting it at two, I feel like, doesn't really hurt the game that much. But it definitely puts a small, like, dent in it. Like, boom, now you can only use two e Tellys. So, like, uh, for Cosmos, maybe Cosmos... Cosmos have so many targets for it. So, e Telly is not a big hit to them put it being put at two they still have tons of uh they still have tons of answer or tons of answers for it. but for quantums i mean that's like that's two for uh like three um so quantums honestly my quantums deck or my quantum deck and my odd eyes pendulum deck um they are like just kind of like in limbo right now and i gotta figure out what to do with them 
Uh, so definitely expect a updated, an updated deck profile of these guys. Even though I literally just did quantum, and that makes me mad. And just like last week, I did, um, I did a show off of the deck. So that like definitely puts like, <laughs> definitely puts um, a like why like oh why did you do this type of thing, um. So yeah, here's the unlimited list now. Now this was a giant why, <laughs> a huge why. Crush card virus. Now let's start. We're gonna start with crush card virus. Crush card virus. It when it came back to one, everyone was like, "Oh my god, crush card virus!" And it was such a big live card with BA mass heroes and which was another one. I think Yang Yang Zings used them too, just for why nots. Uh, but now, like, it's kind of a dead card. Uh, not many people run it now. So, Crush Card Virus at 3, really, I don't see why people would do that. I mean, I guess people could run it in BA for Why Not, and I guess that could make Mast Heroes better. But I still don't see why. <clears throat> I don't see why anybody would run it at 3. It's just, I feel like it'd be too cloggy. Honestly, what I'm looking at right now, I feel like Dark Worlds could make a giant comeback. Especially with Crush Card Virus. Especially with uh, Allure at 3, or at 2. Um, so I feel like they could make somewhat of a comeback. And be somewhat playable again. Because Crush Card Virus for the deck is just... I think is really, really good for the deck. Because you could definitely blow up a lot of shit. So, like I said... Crush Card Virus at 3, not going to hurt it. Advanced Ritual Art, that actually makes the de <laughs> that makes restri Thousand Eye Restrict decks so much more fun to play. Because you can just, just play uh, Advanced Ritual Art, boom, Summon Odd or, thou or Restrict, boom. <laughs> or Relinquish, why am I saying Relinquish? And just be like, I got Relinquish on field, give me your shit. Oh, what? Now I can uh, Fusion? For a thousand out restrict, boom! Now I'm definitely taking your shit, and I'm the only one that can attack. So it's definitely. I feel like they're gonna do something with rituals. <clears throat> Some ritual stuff is gonna come out, and it's just gonna be even more fun. Tragodia at three. I feel like it was the same thing about Gors. <clears throat> Gors at three doesn't really like it. Just it depends on the deck. Some decks Gors at three is cloggy. Some decks. Gores at three is beautiful. You see it just enough. Uh, so it's something that I really don't think is going to affect the game too much. But this is something that blew my mind. Dark Magician of Chaos. The effect monster version. That just <coughs> blew my mind. And now because of that, so much hype is just brought up because of Demok. Demok is now playable. And I don't think it'll affect the game, like, too crazy. But it's definitely, like, I can play Demok now. I can throw that in my decks again. So, like I said, I don't think it'll affect the, the game that much. It's just the fact that it's backed. And it's definitely going to bring up the price, for sure, without a doubt. It's probably going to go from, like, I think the most I saw, like, the most expensive one I saw was, like, a $2 card, which was, like, the original print. Uh... So now that's definitely just for the fact of being it being playable again. Um, he's going to shoot the the card price back up to like twenty dollars without a fact. Well, like with without a fact, that card is like. You know how long we've been waiting for Demok to come back? So many times I've heard like my friends and different different people at regionals just be like, "Up, oh, Demok's coming back next ban list!" Ha 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 ha! And now it's back, and people are like, "Oh my god! Oh my god!" So, yeah, this definitely an interesting ban list of some sorts. And I definitely, I feel like it's going to bring back a lot of different things. And it's really, really interesting. So, ew, that, like, coloring, oh, <laughs> like, it was good coloring. And now it's like, ew. Anyways, I'm just, I'm really excited. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. This is definitely going to be an interesting ban list, and I'm really excited for it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my other videos, and thank you, and have a wonderful, beautiful night, day, thing, or whatever.